Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Ask Ally. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my daily makeup routine. This routine is going to be very simple because I don't like to wear foundation every single day so this one is just going to be some concealer, powder, tiny little bit of eye makeup, and some very natural looking lip gloss. So let's get started. So the first thing that I do every day is because I have such dark circles under my eyes, I need to do a little bit more work on concealing that. So I'm going to start with Max Face and Body, and I believe this is C2. Yeah, this is in C2. I usually use my fingers to apply this, but lately I've been getting some good results with the MAC 190. This is actually a foundation brush. This works really great for under eye coverage because it's soft enough that it's not going to be really annoying to that sensitive skin, but it also has a really nice taper, so I can work that into the corners of my eyes pretty well. And now I'm just bit by bit going to start to build up this color under Underneath my eyes and like I said I have particularly dark under eye area so I'm gonna work on that a little bit more than maybe some of you might have to but if this is an area that you struggle with you're going to probably need to do something similar now what I'm also going to do is any areas that I feel like I have sort of problem discoloration, I'm also going to take that same face and body and just sort of go over any rosy spots on my face that I see that are bothering me or something that might show through something as light as powder. So just around my nose area, I've got a few issues with redness. I'm gonna go ahead and cover those up really quickly. Just really simple. I've also got a few blemishes and I'm just gonna use my finger to sort of blend those out and again I'll be able to go back over this later with a different concealer because I use a couple of different concealers. The next layer of concealer that I'm going to be using is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and this is in an NW15 so it's pretty light, it's a couple shades lighter than what I wear as a foundation color but that's going to sort of help to brighten specifically my under eye area. So again I'm just going to use my fingers and sort of blend this out getting into the corners and you can extend a little bit, it depends on what your preference is. I like to usually blend it a little bit sort of down from the corner of my eye and then sort of out, like sort of making like a big semicircle or kind of like a triangle actually. Definitely helps to sort of brighten all of this area. You can actually already see the difference between my two eyes, how much that concealer is doing for me. It takes a little bit of time for me to do eyeshadow, so I don't usually do it during the day. Just let the natural just shine through. So just blend it out a little bit and don't forget the corners of your eyes. Those on me are particularly dark so don't forget these areas too. This is just as important as the rest. The next step is to go over everything that you just applied to your face with powder and I like to use the MAC Select Sheer Press Powder to sort of set everything that I've done with my concealer. This is in an NC40 and I'm going to be using my powder brush. I think this is the MAC 129. My color, it's actually worn off. The color's worn off the label so I can't actually read it but I think it's the 129. So I'm just going to work a little bit of that powder sort of everywhere that I've done a little bit of concealer just to sort of set it. Just making sure that everything, I've actually got a bruise there still from where I bit my lip. So I'm just going to go and set everything just with a little bit of that powder. And now I'm going to use a little bit of this powder, just brushing it over my face to get a little bit more matte of a look because this has a little bit of tint to it so it'll actually cover any more imperfections that I have. And it'll also just sort of smooth out the surface of my skin and just sort of take away some of the shine. This is what I usually do just on a day to day basis. I mean, this is just a really quick, again, like I said, a really quick and simple way to do your makeup. Like if you're running out of the house and you don't want to go out with nothing, this is what I usually do. Actually, even for the vlogs, this is what I usually do for my makeup. So the next thing that I do is I like to fill in my brows just a little bit. So I'm going to be using something that's a little bit lighter than my natural hair color. This is a charcoal brown. It's just a matte eyeshadow from MAC. And I'm going to be using my 263. It's an angled brush. So I'm just going to basically start a little bit in from where my eyebrow begins and I'm just going to start filling in with just a little bit of color and you want to blend that out really well. You do not want to look like this is an unnatural thing happening here. I think that's when it gets a little bit crazy is when people get a little bit too heavy on the eyebrow makeup. It can start to make everything look a little bit less natural so the key here is really just blending everything out as you go. Again just a little bit inside and start tracing underneath the brow. Just adding a little bit of color as you go and just brushing it through the brow. 
So now I'm just going to take my little eyelash and eyebrow brush, or mustache, if that's what you like to use it for, and I'm just going to sort of comb through my brows, just to sort of work some of that powder and give them a little bit more shape. It's definitely good to make sure that you blend everything out really well, because you definitely, like I said, do not want your eyebrows looking all kooky and wonky when the rest of your face is so natural. You don't want these to just stand out like giant caterpillars. Now the next thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of color to my cheeks. I don't always do this, but let's just do it just for fun. So I'm using a MAC Mineralize blush, and this is in Warm Soul, and I'm also using a MAC, this is a contouring brush, it's the 168. I'm going to put a little bit of blush on my brush here and just sort of working along the contours of my face. I'm just going to sort of blend this as naturally as I can. I don't want it to look super super crazy. I like this little curly cue I have going on here. Going where I already naturally have a little bit of color and just blending it a little bit more. You can see how it helps a little bit. It just brings a little bit of color back to my face. So that's pretty much it. You've just got a couple more steps left. I'm going to just use my eyelash curler, this Dudley looking contraption. Just go ahead and curl your eyelashes a little bit on the tops. So I'm just going to wiggle this through my lashes. And I forgot to mention, I'm sorry guys, I'm using a Clinique High Impact Mascara and this is in, it's just 01, this is just black. And just a tiny bit on the bottoms as well. I'm not actually brushing the brush through, I'm mostly just touching it to my bottom lashes. I don't want them to look super heavy. The very last thing is to throw on some sassy lip gloss. I've just got this Urban Decay. This is a tiny little baby size of this. This is the Lip Junkie Lip Gloss in Midnight Cowboy. And this is a really nice, pretty nude, but it's really pretty. It's got a nice little shimmer to it, so I'm just going to work that onto my lips a little bit just to give a little bit of shine. Nothing too crazy. Okay, everybody, so that's pretty much it for my daily makeup. I like to keep it really quick and simple so I can just get out the door whenever I have to. Be sure to leave me some comments below with some more questions that you'd like to see me cover in future episodes. Thank you guys so much for sticking around for the video, and we'll see you next week. Bye, guys!